Hey guys, so this video is on molecular biology part 1 and we have solved paper 2017 here. So, our first question is, supplementary factor gives phenotypic ratio as 1, 12 is to 3 is to 1, 2, 9 is to 4 is to 3, 3 is 9 is to 3 is to 4 and number 4 is 13 is to 3. So, let's check what are all of them first 12 is to 3 is to 1 shows it's a dominant epistasis 13 is to 3 shows it's a both dominant and recessive interaction And 9 is to 3 is to 4 shows recessive epistasis, which is supplementary factor. So we will give a reference. Here is an example. Recessive epistasis showing our ratio 9 is to 3 is to 4. And dominant epistasis showing 12 is to 3 is to 1. And uh, both 13 is to 3 is shown by dominant and recessive interaction. So our answer will be number 3, 9 is to 3 is to 4. So our next question is, the second genetic code, 1, the code decoded after the first code that is triple U, 2, the code that helps a tRNA recognize a specific amino acid, 3, the code given by other laboratories for the anticodon in tRNA. By the reference second genetic code, first code as given as UUU. Then I think the most relevant uh, answer will be the code that helps tRNA recognize that specific amino acid. So it can be any other particular three codon. It just have to recognize one tRNA specific amino acid and that will become our genet second genetic code. So answer should be number two. Next question. Cosmids are plasmids with a cos site. This cos site is obtained from option one, Acrobacterium tumefaciens. 2. Clostridium botulinum 3. Lambda fudge 4. Bacillus thuringiensis So, either it's a we know, we'll have to know what are cosmids we'll just take a reference here now So, cosmids are basically a cos site plus the plasmid together makes a cos, cosmid So, what is this particular cos site which is present in, inside this plasmid the cos site is a particular sequence of a virus which is present in a bacteriophage. So therefore, cosmids will be obtained from lambda fudge. Our answer will be 3. Next question. Repressor gene is the product of 1. Promoter gene 2. Structural gene 3. Regulator gene 4. Operator gene well first uh, repressor gene obviously means that uh, a gene which is uh, responsible for repressing a particular expression so, so out of all the genes that are given in the option regulator gene is the one which is responsible for regulating the uh, particular expressions in a gene therefore uh, let's take a reference if we take this as a this lacobron gene as an example the regulatory gene is present in the very beginning where our lac repressor gene will be attacking a mrna which will be uh, responsible for repressing the mrna expression therefore regulatory gene will be producing the repressor gene the, our, our answer will be number three Next question, which one of the following amino acid has a single genetic code? 1. Tryptophan, 2. Alanine, 3. Tyrosine, 4. Feline Ananine. Now, if you have memorized the genetic chart, codon chart 
then you will know the answer is tryptophan clearly so we'll just give you a reference here phenylalanine has two or alanine has two or uh, four tryptophan has only one so our answer is tryptophan our next question is germplasm theory was proposed by one hutchinson two darwin three hugo the rice four wisman our answer is wisman Next question. How many gametes will be formed in F2 generation of a trihybrid cross? Now to explain this, we will take an example. For example, our gametes are A, A, B, B, C, C crossed with A, A, B, B, C, C. How to calculate the number of gametes for F2 generation? We will take one as constant here. These are the possible gametes here. Then we will take the A here. Sorry. Take one here. Then it's possible that it will be linked with C or it will link with this. Same similarly here it will link with this or link with this. Similarly here also we will get these two options and the same repeated B and C and B and C. Here also B and oh sorry. Here we will get a bit different. That is now we will have small B and it can be this or it can be this it can be this or it can be this so ultimately we have four eight options which is a combination of this and this this so ultimately we have eight so our answer will be number two next question our next question is whether two mutations are located in the same functional unit or different functional units is confirmed by so uh, here the op options are one test cross two back cross three reciprocal cross four complementation test so we know our test cross is when an f1 generation is crossed with recessive parent Back cross is when F1 generation is crossed with any of the parent. Now reciprocal cross is when we need to determine the sexual inheritance. Is determined. So it's the complementation test which gives us an idea if the mutation is located in the same functional gene or on the different gene. Next question. The phenotypic ratio of complementary factors is. So from the previous reference, we know uh, complementary factor is the ratio 9 is to 7. So our answer is 1. Our next question. If a plant has 18 chromosome in microspore mother cell, the number of chromosome in typical endosperm would be? Now it's a question of ploidy levels. So we see that microspore mother cell must be 2n ploidy. So it will be 2n 18 chromosome that means n is equal to 9 here. Now in typical endosperm they have asked so hint is they clearly mentioning in a typical endosperm well uh, a typical endosperm has a ploidy level of 3n therefore uh, it will be 3 into 9 which is equal to 27 chromosomes so our answer will be 27 
Next question. Which one of the following virus genomes is called a mini chromosome? 1. TMV 2. HIV 3. 3B40 4. Sinophage Well, our answer is 3B40 which is the mini chromosome virus genome. Next question. How many time, how much time is taken by a HFR strain of E. coli to transfer its entire genome to F strain? 1. 30 minutes 2. 45 minutes 3. 60 minutes 4. 90 minutes Well, with uh, experiments done, it has been observed the time taken is 30 minutes. Next, cauliflower uh, 5174 contains 1. Single stranded DNA 2. Single stranded RNA 3. Double stranded DNA 4. Double stranded RNA So our fudge 174 contains single stranded DNA So our answer is 1 Next question Which one of the following covalent form bonds form during DNA replication 1 phosphoester bond 2 ester bond 3 phosphodiester bond 4 phosphoanhydride bond well our answer is phosphodiester bond to give you a reference here in this we see the phosphodiester linkage is being formed between the two sugars of the two bases attached so in the 3 dash and here in the other one the 5 dash are linked with the phospho phosphate bond which is forming a covalent phosphodiester linkage. This, thing. this is not forming because it's not further attached with anything. So Our next question is BDNA shows 1. Right handed coiling and parallel 2. Right handed coiling and anti parallel 3. Left handed coiling and anti parallel Four left hand coiling and parallel. So P D N A is what is the uh, human commonly shows this uh, type of DNA. So the answer is right handed coiling and anti parallel, which is give you a reference. So this is a figure, the structure of the Watson and Crick model of double helical structure of the B form DNA, showing a left handed uh, uh, DNA structure and it is anti parallel since once it moves from 3 dash to 5 dash in the other complementary side it moves from 5 dash to 3 dash next question what is true of trna one it binds with an amino acid at its 3 dash end two it has two double stranded regions three it has a codon at one arm which recognizes anti codon of mrna four it looks like clover leaf in three dimensional structure well the answer proper answer will be it binds with an amino acid at its three dash end next question adenine is replaced by guanine in gene mutation so it is uh, which type one frame shift mutation 2. Transcription mutation 3. Transition mutation 4. Transversion mutation Now these are all the type of mutation We will just give you a reference to easily explain it Well, when adenine gets converted to guanine It's a transition When adenine gets converted to cystos uh, cytosine It's a transversion to cytosine guanine to thymine are transversions whereas adenine to guanine cytosine to tra thymines are transitions therefore our answer will be transitions next initiator amino acid during translation is during translation the initiator amino acid will be methionine our answer is 4 Hope you liked our video. Do subscribe us and uh, comment your suggestions. Thank you.